Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind data into list box, which is a select option from my SQL PHP my admin database. We check the final output. Here we got a new output. The drop down list become the list box control and the city names is binded into this list box control, which is this one. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Notepad++ to write the PHP code. PHP, I am closing PHP tag. Now in this PHP code, I am declaring the variables of my SQL PHP my admin database connection strings. Dollar host name is equals to localhost dollar username root dollar password dollar db name the database name is sample db is my user database and notice the password I'm leaving blank because I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin database if you have any password please enter in this password section dollar connection variable my SQLI underscore connect The first parameter is the host name, comma. The second one is a username, comma. The third parameter is a password, and the final one DB name, database name, dollar DB name. Or if my connection string is failed, die, connection error dot my SQLI underscore error method, I am adding this connection variable. dollar sql query is equals to my sql i underscore query method my sql i query takes two parameters the first one is a connection variable copy and pasting here and the second parameter is a select statement before writing the select statement Let's visit my SQL PHP my admin database. We'll check the table and the column names. For this demo purpose, I'm using the city table which contains six rows and three columns: city ID, city name, and SID. I want to bind the city name column into the list box control, which is a select option HTML element. Select start from city so after adding the my sql php my admin connection variables and the sql query now i want to get that column name city name into this select option element so for that i'm using the html code here html i'm closing the html tag head head h1 I'm closing the h1 tag how to bind data from my sql php my admin database into html select option list box 
I'm closing H2 tag PHP using my SQL line horizontal line what I'm doing I'm putting this add tags in the center I'm closing the center tag after the header section let's add the body I'm closing the body tag Now between this body tag, I'm adding the select element. Select. I'm closing the select element. Now inside the select element, I want to bind the city name column into the option element. So for that, I'm using uh, PHP code here. PHP. while loop dollar row is equals to my sqli underscore fetch underscore array i'm adding this sql query Now inside this while loop, I am adding the HTML option element. So I have to close the PHP code here. I'm adding option tag. I'm closing the option tag. Value is equals to in this value I am adding the column name from the city table which is a city name between double quotes question mark question mark is equals to row between these double quotes I am adding the column name city name from the city table semicolon Let's copy this. Paste between the option tags. That's it. We have binded the city name column into this select option HTML element. Let's close the connection string after the center tag. I'm adding PHP code. My SQLI underscore close method. In this close method, I am adding the connection variable. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's save this file. Save. I am saving this file in the root folder www. The PHP file name is PHP listbox binding dot PHP dot PHP Let's copy this file name, save. Friends, here I forgot to add the dollar symbol dollar and dollar. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. Enter. And here we got the output of that call. Notice we got the drop down list control instead of list box. To make this drop down list into a list box, in the select element, just add the property multiple. Once we add the multiple property into the select element, let's save this file. We'll check the final output. Here we got a new output, the drop down list become the list box control and the city names is binded into this list box control, which is this one. That's it.